on Milwaukee's southwest side killed three young adults. Our Jason Calvi discovered that one person survived after neighbors rushed to save her. Now, we do want to warn you that some of the video you're about to see is a bit graphic. The car is in fire. Awoken by a boom around 2.30 Thursday morning. I heard an ex like an explosion. A witness shared this video of what happened on Oklahoma near Forest Home. Neighbors rushed out of their apartments to help. Bayan Najjar and another man put out the fire. Without that quick action, it's likely a fourth person would be dead. He see him burning, so he have to save him. You can see more and more neighbors frantically trying to help rescue the four people trapped inside. It was help uh, trying to get her out, but the, but the vehicles were so mangled together. We have four people trapped. Finally, firefighters rescued the sole survivor. Police say she was rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. She is uh, alert and oriented. Milwaukee police say a 22-year-old driver of a BMW was speeding, lost control, and crashed into two parked cars. That driver is now dead. The medical examiner ID'd him as Justin Ranke. And somebody's not going home tonight. It's a mess. Two passengers also died in the wreck. 22-year-old Helena Christensen and 20-year-old Jason Jankowski. Until it's your kid, it's hard to realize because it's happening so often that we're just not even acknowledging it at this point. Sarah LaPalm is the mother of Jankowski. I want to let all the young people know that think that this is fun. It may be fun until your friend next to you is dead. As the heroes who came to help are now left with more than cleanup. I'm still mentally disturbed. My fact, I had to call my pastor. I'm really emotionally messed up right now from what I saw. In Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Now, we asked MPD just how fast that car was going. A police spokesperson responded that they're still investigating that.